Good morning, everyone. For today's discussion, uh, we are going to talk about gas laws. So these will be our objectives for this uh, day. First, we are going to describe an ideal gas using kinetic molecular theory. And then uh, we are going to differentiate gas laws to state the different gas laws in your own words. And also, we are going to convert these statements into equation forms. And then we are going to explain situations using uh, gas laws. And of course, we are going to solve problems involving gas laws. So basically, we only have two uh, major topics for this morning, for this day. <clears throat> First is about uh, kinetic molecular theory, and then the second will be about gas laws. So um, let us try to describe first kinetic molecular theory and how is this theory used in explaining the behavior of uh, ideal gases. So for example, we have a container which uh, contains a gas, for example, carbon dioxide, which is a gas, or oxygen, which is a gas, nitrogen, which is a gas. So let us just assume na itong uh, container natin na ito contains a particular gas, which is carbon dioxide. So gases are composed of large number of very small particles. So napakaraming small particles. So for example, these are the particles. These are the molecules of uh, carbon dioxide. Now, <clears throat> these particles, these small particles are always in constant random motion. So palagi yan sila nag-move, di ba? As I've told you before, the molecules, the particles, the atoms of a particular um, substance, in this case, gas, always yan sila nag-move. They're always in motion, randomly nag-move nag sila, and their movement is in a straight line. So nag-move sila in a straight line. So, ibig sabihin, these particles have a tendency to collide. So, magkakaroon sila ng collisions. Pwede mag-collide sila among each, among each other. So sa kapwa nila particles, mag-collide sila or they can also collide with the walls of the container. Okay, so always yan may collision kasi nga they are always in, uh, in uh, movement. They are always in motion. They are always moving. So they will be colliding with each other and of course with the walls of the container. <clears throat> now these coll collisions are elastic. Pag, ang pag, uh, pag sinabi natin na elastic, ibig sabihin no energy is lost in the process. Okay? So no energy is lost. Uh, ano lang? Bangga lang yun sila permente. Bounce, bangga, bounce. Ba bangga sila sa other particles. Mo bounce, bangga sa uh, wall sa container. Mo bounce. But there is no uh, loss of energy uh, in the process. Now, ang tatandaan din natin, walang attractive forces ang mga gas particles. So, ibig sabihin, hindi didikit yung mga particles natin. Hindi din sila mag-repel. Walang attractive forces, wala ding repulsive forces. So, wala silang pakialam sa kapwa nila particles. So, uh, wala din sila pakialam. Eh. Bahala ka dahil sa mga life. Ano lang. Now, based on uh, what I have discussed before, the average kinetic energy, since they are always in motion, so meron silang kinetic energy. So, ang average kinetic energy nila depends on the temperature of the gases. So, ibig sabihin kapag mataas ang temperature, ibig sabihin mas mabilis ang pag-move nila. So, ibig sabihin mas mainit sila, ibig sabihin mabilis ang pag-move, mas mabilis sila mag-collide, mas mabilis sila mag-move din. So, that's the meaning of the fifth uh, statement. Okay? Ayun. So, how are we going to uh, describe the quantities or the behaviors of this gas? Dito sa gas ito, ito. Yan. So, una, uh, we can uh, describe its temperature, tama? Temperatures. Alam natin, na discuss na natin before, the temperature is related to the kinetic energy of the molecule. So, ibig sabihin, kapag mabilis ang movement, mabilis ang movement, mabilis ang movement, so mataas ang temperature, mainit. Kapag mabagal ang movement, mabagal, napakabagal ng movement, ibig sabihin, mababa yung temperature, so malamig. So that's uh, how are we going to measure the temperature of a particular object. Okay? Now, uh, so that's one. Second, ano pa yung ma-describe natin dito? Yung volume. Okay? The amount of space. Kung gaano ba kalaki yung space na na-occupy ng ating gas. For example, in this case, ito. 
Anong volume ba? So we can describe the volume of our gas. Tama? So meron na tayong temperature, meron na tayong uh, volume. So dito meron tayong temperature, meron na tayong uh, volume. Now, the second is, gaano ba karami yung mga molecules natin? Tama? Gaano ba karami yung mga red? Yan. So that is the amount of particles. That's the number of particles. We can also describe that. So we, call, we will call that a mole. Okay, so that's the amount of substance present. And then third, we can, uh, lastly, we can also describe the pressure. Paano ba natin i-relate si pressure? Ang pressure is uh, the amount of collisions. Kung gaano ba sila kadalas mag-collide with each other, gaano ba sila kadalas mag-collide with the walls of the container. Hello? Okay. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong apat. Una, meron tayong volume, kung gaano ba karami yung amount of space na na-occupy ng ating gas. Okay, gaano ba karami yung gas natin? So, that's the volume. So, uh, the unit, ang gagamitin natin na unit for the volume is the uh, liters. Okay, sa so usually sa gas, liters. Uh, sometimes, ang gagamitin natin na uh, cubic meters. Ayun. Now, pressure, as I've told you before, yung pressure that's the uh, that's related to the amount of collisions kung gaano ba kadalas mag-collide ang ating mga uh, particles so ibig sabihin kapag madalas sila mag-collide uh, with each other and madalas din sila mag-collide with the walls of the container ibig sabihin mataas ang pressure so that's uh, the meaning of pressure sa gas so the unit is atmosphere and it can also be uh, it can also be in pascals yun now the temperature, as I told you before, ang temperature is the uh, is related to the to the movement of our particles. Ano ba kabilis nagmove ang ating particles? It's related to the uh, kinetic energy. So ang unit natin jan is Kelvin. So tandaan Kelvin. So if ever the unit is in degrees Celsius, you need to convert it into Kelvin. Okay. Next. Number of atoms or number of molecules. Gaano ba karami yung mga particles natin, yung mga molecules natin. And that's, uh, that's, that is measured uh, using mole as a unit. So we have, anong tawag ito? Sa number na ito, 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms, molecules, or particles. This is what we call the Avogadro's number. Tama na, na-encounter na, na ninyo na sa uh, chemistry ninyo. Ayun. Now, we will always encounter the word or the term or the acronym STP. Ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng STP? It is a, uh, an acronym for Standard Temperature and Pressure. Okay? So, STP. So, sometimes hindi ko na uh, sasabihin ko ano yung temperature. Ang sasabihin ko na lang, STP. So, alam nyo na yung standard. Ano yung standard na temperature? That's the freezing point so ito 0 degrees celsius freezing point so convert that into a freezing point of water so convert that into uh, kelvin okay convert that into kelvin so that's 273.15 kelvin so that's the freezing point that's the standard temperature now what is the standard pressure so the standard pressure is one atmosphere ito one atmosphere yung mafeel natin uh, every day. So, pressure exerted by the atmosphere. Okay? Now, at STP, if we have a gas at STP, so for example, meron tayong carbon dioxide at 0 degrees Celsius at 1 atmosphere, ang ibig sabihin nun, we have 1 mole. Okay? So, meron tayong 1 mole. Ang 1 mole of a particular gas meron tayong 22.414 liters. For example, uh, carbon dioxide. One mole of carbon dioxide at STP. Ano ang volume niya? 22.414 liters. Yan. So for example, meron tayong one mole of oxygen at STP. So ano yung volume niya? 22.414. Always yan. Constant. If we have one mole at STP. Okay? Ayan. So, uh, these are the properties or these are the characteristics of uh, ideal gases. Okay. So, uh, these are the four 
quantities that we are going to describe later in terms of the ideal gases that we are going to uh, discuss. So we have volume, pressure, temperature, and number of molecules. So kindly uh, take note of those quantities. So now when we talk about ideal gases, we are going to describe these, uh, the relationships of these uh, variables. So una, uh, pag-uusapan natin, ano ba yung relationship ng volume at saka ng pressure? For example, dito, ano ba yung relationship nila? Ano ba yung relationship ng uh, volume at saka ng temperature? Ano ba yung relationship ng volume at saka ng number of molecules? Ano ba yung relationship ng pressure at saka ng temperature? So yun yung pag-uusapan natin when we talk about uh, ideal gas laws. So una, i-discuss natin kung ano ba yung relationship. Mabuti pa sila, no? may relationship kayo. Paasar uh, mo na. <laughs> <laughs> so, ano ba yung relationship ng volume at saka pressure? So, M yung sila. Sorry lang. Uh, Pag-uusapan natin, volume at saka pressure. So, what is the relationship between volume and pressure? So, for example, meron tayong gas. Assume na meron akong gas dito, balloon. When we talk about pressure, kung uh, pag-compress natin sa isang gas. So, what if i-compress natin ang gas? Ano mangyayari sa volume niya? I-compress natin yung gas. Ano mangyayari sa volume niya in gel? <laughs> Nako pag umangko ng mga gawa. Sa so, nangyayari sa uh, pressure uh, sa volume kapag i-compress natin yung gas. If you notice, kapag uh, i-compress ko yung gas, ang volume liliit, tama no? So ibig sabihin, malaki yung pressure, malaki ang pressure, liliit ang volume. Okay? So malaki ang pressure, maliit ang volume. So ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin they are inversely related. Okay? Malaki, mataas ang pressure, maliit ang volume. Kagaya nito. One atmosphere ang uh, atmosphere, so one liter. So kapag uh, lumaki yung atmosphere, tumaas yung uh, pressure natin, anong nangyari sa volume niya? Naging 0.5 liter. So that's the inverse proportionality. Okay? Ayun. So ibig sabihin, pressure and volume are inversely related. So ano yung hindi kasali? Pressure and volume yung uh, pinag-uusapan natin. So hindi kasali si temperature. So ibig sabihin, at constant, temperature. Nakuha? So yun. So pressure and volume are inversely related at constant temperature. Yun ang law ni Boyle. Okay? So we call that Boyle's law. So for example, dito, four atmosphere, ito yung volume niya, maliit. Pero pag two atmospheres na lang, lumiit yung temperature, ay yung lumiit yung pressure niya, ano nangyari sa volume? Lumaki. Tama? So, uh, while the pressure decreases, ano nangyari sa volume? The volume increases. So, one atmosphere na lang, napakaliit na lang ng pressure. Ano nangyari sa volume? Lumaki. So, that is Boyle's law. That is uh, the inverse proportionality between volume and uh, pressure. Okay? Now, uh, remember, meron tayong uh, volume pressure. Tapos na tayo sa volume pressure. Now, let's talk about volume and temperature. Ano ba yung relationship ni volume at saka ni temperature? For example, inito ni mo ang isa ka-object. Kung saan ang object, mudako or magamay, inito ni mo ang object. Diba, mudako siya, mo expand siya. Kung inito ni mo ang isa ka-object, for example, na kay uh, painita ni mo ang imuhang chinelas, diba, mo expand siya. So, uh, that's the relationship. Or in gases, kung imuhang painitin ang painat painiton painito <laughs> painito ng isa ka gas it will expand okay so kung taas ang temperature unsay mahitabo sa volume magtaas pod so pareho ang mahitabo sa ilaha so as temperature increases volume increases it sulay gud nang ang balloon kung imuhang i uh, ayo lang ang balloon tanang bola nga hiyos Familiar mo siguro, nagadula mo siguro mo bola. Bola nga hiyos, bola sa basketball. Uh, for example, painitan mo na sa adlaw. Diba mo, mudako ang bola mo, mura siya umuburot, wala mo tanin mo siya gipahanginan. Mudako siya. Why? Because uh, init ka ayo, and since the temperature is high, that means mutaas po ang volume. As temperature increases, volume uh, increases also. So yun yung ibig sabihin ng direct proportionality between volume and temperature. Okay, so kapag kainitin ang isang object, tataas yung volume. So ano yung hindi kasali? Ano yung hindi kasali dito? Uh, volume and temperature, ang hindi kasali si pressure. So ibig sabihin, constant si pressure. So volume, 
of a gas varies directly with the temperature at constant pressure. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng Charles Law. For example, dito, uh, kapag uh, ma mababa yung temperature, for example, 30 degrees Celsius, so ganito yung volume niya, mababa yung temperature, uh, maliit din yung volume. Na kapag tataas yung temperature, for example, at this point here, uh, 60, 60 ba ito? Or 70, 70 degrees Celsius. Ang volume niya naging 60 ml. So nagtaas or nag-increase ang volume. So direct proportionality. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng Charles Law. Na ito yung observation ng Charles Law. Kapag uh, i-align mo sila, gawan mo sila ng graph, it will form a straight line. Tama? Straight line. Yan, straight line. Now, Charles extrapolated. So hanggang dito lang yung... Um, Hanggang dito lang yung uh, observation ni Charles. Dito lang. Yan. But he extrapolated. What if kaya i-straight uh, na ko siya? I-straight, straight 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 It will come to a point na there is a temperature at which the volume of our gas is zero. Okay? It will come to a point na meron tayong temperature dito na ang volume sa gas zero. And that temperature at which the volume of our gas that is what we call the absolute zero. So di ba sa absolute zero, um, that's the temperature at which wala nang movement ang ating uh, particles. That's also the temperature at which wala nang volume ang ating, uh, part, ating gas. Okay, that's absolute zero. And that is what? That is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. Okay? Ayun. Now, let us also uh, describe the relationship between pressure and uh, pressure and temperature. Okay, tapos na tayo. Ano yung natapos na natin? Tapos na tayo sa volume and pressure, that's Boyle's law. Volume and temperature, that's Charles' law. How about pressure and temperature? Ito ang dalawa. So, na yung hindi kasali. See? hindi ko sali at saka si number of moles. Ano yung relationship ng pressure and temperature? The relationship is also direct. Ibig sabihin, kapag ka mainit, okay, constant ang volume ha, at constant volume, yung hindi ka sali sa atin dito, volume. At constant volume, kapag ka mataas yung temperature, okay, so for example, tataas yung temperature, di ba mas mabilis yung movement ng ating particles, tama? kapag ka mataas yung temperature. So kapag ka mataas ang temperature, mas mabilis sila mag-move. So ibig sabihin, mas mabilis or mas madalas ang kanilang collisions. Mas mag-collide sila, tama? So ibig sabihin nun, collision is related to the pressure. So kapag ka mabilis or madalas yung collision, mas mataas ang pressure. So ibig sabihin, kapag ka mas mainit, mas mataas ang pressure. Kagaya nito. Uh, 150 Kelvin, 1 atmosphere lang. Pero kapag uh, pinaas natin yung uh, pinaas natin yung temperature to 300 Kelvin, naging 2 atmospheres. So direct relationship. So for it, uh, next, let us talk about Avogadro's law. So ano na yung natapos natin? Tapos na tayo sa volume and pressure, volume and temperature, pressure and temperature. Now let us talk about volume and N. V and N. So that is Avogadro's law. So Avogadro's law is about volume and um, anong tawag niyan? Volume and the number of moles. Okay? And they are directly related. So of course, kapag ka mas marami kang particles ng gas, mas malaki yung volume. Tama no? For example, uh, nakay 10 grams of 10 grams of um, sugar Ano yung volume niya? What if nakay 100 grams of sugar? Di ba mudako yun yung volume? Tama? That's straightforward. Mas mudako yung volume. Kung mas daghan ng particle, mas dako yung space na i-occupy. Tama? That's Avogadro's law. That's straightforward. So for example, nalang ko 2 moles. 22.4 liters. What if nakoy uh, 1 mole rather? What if nakoy 2 moles? Of course, mudako po nang iyahang uh, volume. Okay, mas daghan naman siya o number of moles number of molecules. Again, ano yung constant? Constant C, temperature, and C, pressure. 
Okay, that is Avogadro's law. Now let us try to uh, summarize the four laws, the four ideal gas laws. Una, uh, ano ba yung mag-affect sa volume? Okay, volume will be affected. Tama no? It is the dependent variable. Ano yung mag-affect sa volume? According to Boyle's law, ang mag-affect sa volume is ang pressure. Tama? So kapag malaki yung pressure, i-compress natin, volume will decrease, magliit. So ang relationship nila, inverse. So kapag ka-inverse ang relationship, saan natin ilalagay? Sa denominator. So dyan natin ilalagay. So this is Boyle's law. Okay? Ano yung constant? Ano yung hindi kasali? Ano yung nakita mo dito? V and P. So ano yung hindi kasali? Temperature. So constant C, temperature sa Boyle's law. Okay? Ayun. Now, ano pa yung maka-affect sa volume? According kay Charles, ang maka-affect sa volume is ang temperature. Okay? So, temperature affects volume. And according to Charles, um, kapag ka mataas ang temperature, mataas din yung volume. As temperature increases, volume also increases. So, they are directly related. So, saan natin ilalagay? Sa numerator. So, dyan yung uh, temperature natin. Okay? Ayan. So that's the direct proportionality. So ano yung constant sa Charles? Ano yung hindi kasali? Diba? V and P lang. V and P lang ang Charles. So ano yung hindi kasali? C, P. So pressure. So constant C, pressure. Naku ha? So at constant, pressure. Ah, okay, good. Now ano pa yung maka-affect sa volume? According kay Avogadro, ang maka-affect sa volume is ang number of molecules. Tama no? Kapag ka marami yung number of molecules natin, ibig sabihin, um, malaki din yung volume. Tama? Okay? So, they are directly related. So, saan natin ilalagay? Sa numerator. Ayan. Okay? So, that's the uh, direct proportionality between uh, volume and number of molecules. Okay? Next, we have the Gay-Lussac law. And according kay Gay-Lussac, di ba pressure and temperature man sa Gay-Lussac? Pressure and temperature. So, ang isang constant sa Gili-Apil? Si, uh, si volume. So, constant si volume. Nakuha? Ayun. Okay na? So, they are directly related. So, dapat uh, same side of the equation sa Gay-Lussac law. Ayan direct proportionality. So, ang tatandaan mo lang si Boyle's law. Bakit? Saan lang yung inverse? Saan lang yung inverse? The rest, direct na ang proportionality. Ito ha? Na, so, ito yung mga relationships na uh, na-identify natin. Now, how are we going to make it into or to convert it into equation form? So, para mag-convert siya into equation form, yan, gawin natin sa equation. So, lalagyan natin siya ng constant. Okay? Kapag uh, i-convert natin sa into equation, lalagyan natin ng constant of proportionality. So ano yung constant of proportionality natin? Uh, scientists name it R. So R ang tawag nila sa constant of proportionality. So that R is what we call the universal gas constant. So that's universal gas constant. Ayun. So ito na yung uh, ito na yung summary of the gas laws. Okay? Ang tawag natin dito ideal gas law. Ito lahat, ito lahat. Ang tawag natin diyan ideal gas law. Now if we are going to cross multiply, for example dito i cross multiply natin. Yan. Okay, meron tayong fraction. So i cross multiply natin, ang mangyayari maging PV equals NRP. Tama? Oh? PV equals NRP. So ito yung ideal gas law. So PV equals NRP, remember? Uh, P and V, ano yung relationship nila? Inverse. So that's Boyle's law. Si V and saka si temperature, ito, volume and temperature, ano yung relationship nila? Direct. So that's Charles' law. Okay? Volume and number of molecules, ano yung relationship? Direct. So Avogadro's law. Okay? Now pressure and temperature, kanina yan? Gain the Sachs law. Direct. So, ang tatandaan mo lang si Boyle's law kasi siya lang yung inverse. Naku, ha? Ayun. 
So ito na yung ideal gas, no? combination na sila sa lahat. Okay. Now, meron din tayong isa pa and we call it the Dalton's Law. So according kay Dalton, the total pressure in a container is the sum of the pressures of each gas. So for example, meron tayong container. Yan, for example, container yan. So, container na ano, it contains um, different gases. So, for example, na kay uh, carbon dioxide. Na, carbon, ano ka sorry? Wala mo kayo drawing tablet, di ba? Okay, for example, carbon dioxide na. Ito na, carbon dioxide. And then, napun tayo oxygen. Ito na. Oxygen daw na. And then naatay uh, nitrogen. Na, nitrogen. Na, and then napod tayo helium. Na, for example, natay upat. Carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, and helium. Okay? So, ang according kay Dalton, the total pressure. Anong, ano ngayon ang total pressure sa container na ito? So, the total pressure is... Just the sum of the pressure of each gas. So that means the total pressure is just the sum of all the pressures. So for example, si, uh, si carbon dioxide, pilang pressure, one atmospheres. For example, si carbon dioxide, one atmosphere. ATM ang unit lang, dito na ilalagay. Now, si carbon dioxide, for example, two atmospheres. Okay? Carbon dioxide, two atmospheres. The uh, nitrogen, for example, three atmospheres. Okay, yan. Three atmospheres. Now, the si, uh, helium, for example, kay um, four atmospheres. Yan. So, ano ngayon ang total pressure sa container? You, you just add. I-add mo lang yan lahat. I-add lahat. So, one plus two is three plus three, six plus four, ten. So, ang total pressure sa lahat, uh, sa isang container na yan, uh, 10 atmospheres. Okay, so i-add mo lang lahat. But take note, pressure of each gas is equal to NRP over B. So from the ideal gas law. From ideal gas law yan. Ayun. So ito yung Dalton's law. For example, meron tayong uh, hydrogen. Meron tayong hydrogen, the pressure is 2.9 atmospheres. Meron tayong um, helium. Meron tayong helium. Ang pressure is 7.2 uh, atmospheres. Now, what if we are going to mix the hydrogen and helium? I-mix natin silang dalawa. So, what will be the total pressure? You just add 2.9 plus 7.2 and that is 10.1 atmospheres. So, that's the Dalton's law. Ayun. So, ano yung constant sa Dalton? Tingnan mo yung constant. Constant ang? Uh, volume, liters, constant din ang temperature. At constant volume and constant temperature. Ayun. Okay na? Good. So identify natin what law is applied to this a particular um, situation. Pressure cooker. Uh, Di ba? Nata always pressure cooker. So anong ideal gas law ang mag-apply dyan? So, uh, for example, dito, meron tayong pressures and pressures. Dito sa pressure cooker na uh, init man siya mong init. So, temperature. Tama? Kaya, ay mo mang painitan. Mawag yung maluto. So, temperature. So, pressure and temperature. Ano ba yung relationship ng pressure and temperature? Kaninong law yan? Pressure and temperature. That's Boyle, Charles, Gay-Lussac, or Avogadros. It's Gay- Lusak law. Tama? Gay Lusak's law. Pressure and temperature. Ano yung constant sa Gay Lusak? Anong hindi kasali? So, anong hindi kasali dito? So, constant si volume. Ah, di ba? Dali na kayo no. Next. Tire explodes when overheated. Di ba? Kung na uh, ligid mo, pag ba overheat ang ligid mo, explode ba siya? Okay. Nga naman, let us, anong ideal gas law ang mag-apply? So, meron tayong heat, tama? Heated. So, ano yung, uh, ano yung variable? Temperature. Very good. Okay. Next, bakit ba mayroong explosion? <laughs> ano yung, uh, ano yung, 
And now you have variable, so we have pressure. Okay, pressure, temperature and pressure, or pressure and temperature. Anong law yan? Ayun. So it is still Gay Lussac's law. Tama? Gay Lussac's law. So ano yung relationship ng temperature and pressure? Direct. Ayun. So kapag ka mataas ang temperature, mataas ang pressure, so hindi na kaya ng pressure ng uh, tire, explode. Munang mabuto ang ligid. So ano yung constant? Volume. Si siya yung hindi kasali. Tama? So constant si volume. Next. Lower boiling point at higher elevation. So, alam natin na meron tayong boiling point. So, anong, anong variable yan? That's boiling. So, init. So, temperature. Okay? Sa higher elevation, ano yung uh, variable na nasa higher elevation? We have pressure. That is why kung masaka ka bukid, magsakit yung dalunggan. Murag magsakit nga naman kay gamay ang pressure. Magbaba ang pressure. Okay? Or kung masakay ka gero plano, uh, <clears throat> magsakit po din mong galunggan pag mag uh, take off or pag mag uh, landing. Di ba masakit ng dalunggan? Nga naman kay mag change ang uh, pressure. Okay? So it is still gay Lusak's law. Constancy, volume. Ayun. So next, dough expands when heated. Ano ba yung dough? Nasa, <laughs> kanag ko pang, pang bake mo. Dough. Nasa donut. <laughs> Nada ko yung si Zambi din ang aking pagumang kwan. Sige, pamuta na. <laughs> okay. Dough expands when heated. So, ano yung uh, variable? Nata yung heat. So, temperature. Yan. So, dough expands. Si Dako. So, unsa man ang expansion? Unsa lang uh, variable? Pressure, volume, or N. So, that's the volume. Tama ka mali. Tama din ka rin. So volume. So we have temperature and volume. So ano yung, ano yung, uh, ano yung law na about temperature and volume? Gay Lussac, Boyles, Charles, or Avogadro. It's Charles Law. Tama? Charles Law. And what is the relationship? Direct. Okay? Ano yung constant? Pressure. Oh, how do you think about it? Constant ang uh, pressure. Ayun. Okay? Another example. Sky range. Huh? Ano kung gina-inject? Sky range? Gina-inject? Huwag ka nang gina-inject sa pag-vaccine ka, bakuna ka. Sky range. Muna yung sky range. Okay, so sky range. Di ba sa sky range, mo siyang gina-press? Tama? Gina-press ni mo. So, saan na? Pressure. Pressure. Okay, so unsa nito po sa space dito sa syringe kung yung i-press? Mo decrease. So unsa man ang variable? Ha? Volume? Mo gamay man. So, gamay man. Volume. <laughs> so it's pressure and volume. Ayun. So pressure and volume. And anong law ang about pressure and volume? Good. So, na? Boyle's, Boyle's Law. Ah, so, Boyle's Law. So, ano yung uh, Boyle's Law? Ano yung relationship? Ha? Inverse? Kasi meaning sa inverse of it. So, i-compress. Gamay. So, uh, greater pressure, mag-decrease ang volume. Oh, ano mo kayo natumang? <laughs> so, ano yung constant dito? Constant ang temperature. Ayun. O diba? Dali na kayo. Next. Respiration. So na respiration. Ginawa. So uh, respiration. Dahil, kundi, diba? Kung mo ginawa ka, mo expand ang imuhang uh, diaphragm. So we have volume. It's actually volume and pressure. So volume and pressure. So kung mo expand ang diaphragm, Hugamay ang pressure inside. So muna makasulod ang imuhang, uh, makasulod ang hangin. Kung mo, mo exhale ka, gawas ang hangin. Muna ko man ang, uh, mugamay man ang pressure inside. So muna ko ang pressure. So ang saan mo yung 
Boyle's law. Is there a relationship? Inverse. Is there a constant? Temperature. <laughs> so, constant ang uh, temperature. Okay, so, yun lang ang ideal gas law. Okay na. Now, let's have a uh, problem solving for uh, ideal gas law. Tama na yung concept. So ideal gas law, ito yung formula natin, PV equals nRT. Okay, remember pa, mamuna ang equation natin kanina. So if we are going to divide both sides by N and T, so divide by NT, so ito yung mangyayari. So or uh, PV over NT, divide both sides lang natin yan, is equal to R. So when N is the number of molecules, ito, unit of moles, R is the universal gas constant, T is the volume, excuse me, uh, unit liters or kiloliters. T is pressure. Unit is atmosphere or pascals. T is temperature. Unit is Kelvin. So take note, ang unit always ng temperature is Kelvin. So if you have degree Celsius, convert that into Kelvin. Paano i-convert? You just add 200. Wait, so that thing? 273.5. Okay, add lang ha, 273.15. If you are going to convert Celsius to Kelvin. Okay? So what is the, how about gas constant? Ano yung unit ng gas constant? Diba, meron na tayong unit ng mole, unit ng volume, unit ng pressure, and unit ng temperature. How about gas constant? Ano yung unit? Iba-iba yung unit ang gas constant natin. So if you try to search the net, iba-iba sila ng units. Bakit? Depende lang sa unit ng pressure. So for example, ang gagamitin mo sa pressure is atmosphere. Kaya uh, sa liters, di ba? Familiar man yung number, di ba? 22.414 kanina sa STP. Timan ilang tong sa STP na values. Standard temperature and pressure. So 22.414 liters, 1 mole, and then 273, mamani ang standard uh, temperature. So that's, i-calculate lang, that's 0 0.82057. So unit, atmospheres, Liters, mole, Kelvin. Now, what ang gamito na ito? Pascals sa pressure. So, mamaya ang Pascal. Tanawa ito sa ideal gas. Ah, sa STP. <clears throat> Pascal, 101. And then, calculate lang ni na. So, 8,304.5. So, Pascals, liters, mole, Kelvin. So, yan ang unit. Iba-iba siya ng unit. Depende sa unit na gagamitan mo. Now, what if instead of liters, ang gagamitin natin cubic meters? So, uh, ito, convert lang. Napakita ko na ito kanina sa previous slide. Okay, so calculate lang. So, ito yung answer natin. So, pascals, cubic meters, mole, kelvin. So, pascals times cubic meters, that's joules. Okay, joules yan. Okay na? Ayan. So, take note of the units. Ha? Depende yan kung ano yung unit na gagamitin natin. Okay, so take note, iba-iba yung units, iba-iba yung uh, values ng ating ideal gas, ano, universal gas constant, depende sa unit. Okay? Ayun, so for example, okay. 2.3 moles of helium gas is at a pressure of 1.70 atmospheres and temperature of, the temperature is, 41.5 degrees Celsius. What is the volume of the gas? So, sulat muna natin ang given. Uh, 2.3 uh, moles. Moles is a unit of, uh, di ba, N mana siya? So, N is equal to 2.30 moles. Okay? Is that a pressure? So, meron tayong pressure na 1.70. So, pressure is 1.70 atmospheres. And the temperature is? 41.5 degrees Celsius. So, meron tayong temperature. Remember, we need to convert this into uh, Kelvin. You just add 273.15. So, add lang. 41.5 degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So, ito yung answer. Okay? Now, ano yung uh, constant na gagamitin natin? Okay? So, ano yung unit? Mole, atmosphere, Kelvin. So dapat hanap tayo dito ng mole atmosphere Kelvin. Kelvin. Mole atmosphere Kelvin. So ibig sabihin ito yung value na gagamitin natin. Okay? Yung value na gagamitin. 
So, ang gagamitin natin for the universal gas constant, yan. Kasi nga, ang unit natin, no? No, it should be consistent, the units. Okay? Now, ano yung required? What is the volume of the gas? So, volume ang required. Okay? Now, if you try to observe the given, isang set lang. Okay? Isa lang ka-set. Ang uh, isa lang ka-N, isa lang ka-P, isa lang ka-T, isa lang ka-V. So, one set only. So, take note of that, ha? One set only. So, kapag meron tayong one set only, ito yung gagamitin natin na uh, equation. Yung PV equals MRT. So, hindi ko nagalagay dito, no? Kapag ka one set lang, asa na to, dara? Kapag ka one set lang, ito yung gagamitin natin na uh, equation. Kapag ka two sets, ito yung gagamitin na equation. Makikita niya na later. So, PV equals NRT. So, we can divide both sides. <laughs> ang hinahanap natin is ang uh, volume. So, divide lang. Di ba? PV na natin kanina. So, divide both sides by P. Okay? So, uh, volume is equal to N. Kung siya to yung N na to, dara, 2 per 30 moles. R is substitute lang lahat. 0 0.82. Yan. And then, uh, temperature is in Kelvin. Yan. 214. Uh, pressure is in atmosphere, yan. So, it will give us an answer. Oh, calculator lang. Ang sarabi. 0.082057 That will give us 32.919 liters. Bakit liters? Kasi mag-cancel out si mag-cancel out si moles. Yan, cancel. Cancel atmospheres, cancel, cancel Kelvin, cancel, cancel. So, may iwan na lang liters. Okay, so how many significant figures? Three. So, 13.4.9 uh, liters. Okay? Uh, diba? Dalira tayo no? Okay, let's have another example. A given gas occupies 2,000 cubic centimeters at a pressure of 0 0.28 atmospheres. So, meron tayong cubic uh, centimeters. Ano yan? That's the cube man. So, that's volume. Tama? So, given meron tayong volume na 2,000 uh, cubic centimeters. So, bakit may 1? Later, explain ko bakit may 1 yan. Next, meron pa tayong pressure na 0 0.78. So, ito. 0 0.78 atmosphere. Now, ang tinatanong, vo what volume? So, ang tinatanong, volume. So, meron na tayong dalawang volume. Tama? Meron tayong 1, meron tayong 2. So, meron tayong 2 sets of the values. Okay? If the pressure becomes one half of the original pressure, so one half, so that means 0 0.39, one half of 78, uh, 0 0.78, 0 0.78 divided by two, that's 0 0.39 atmosphere because it becomes one half. So that means, ang gagamitan natin na equation is ito, tama? And it should be constant, okay? It should be constant. So P, uh, lagyan mo lang ng uh, ito. Constant na siya, so para lang. E1 over Tanibaw. Pasa to dapit. Ano to? Dara. Kani yung? Kani. So, constant mo. So, P1, during a set, first set, and then second set, there is a P set. Okay, asa na to? Yan. So, ayun. Two sets. Next. Uh, ano na yung kasali dito sa equation natin? So, given V lang at saka P. So, ito lang dalawa. So, wala kang pake sa... N at saka T. Tama? Wala tayong pake dito. Okay? Kasi ang given lang natin is v, volume and pressure. So, ibig sabihin, meron lang tayong P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Uh, so, yan lang yung uh, uh, kailangan natin. This is Boyle's Law. Tama? P and V, Boyle's Law. Kasi constant. <laughs> Okay, so kailangan natin is volume. So divide both sides lang. Divide both sides by P2. So, excuse me. P1 is 0 0.78 atmosphere. So hence, I'll see through it. V1 is 2,000. Uh, V2 is 0 0.39. So I'll see through it lang. And that will give us 4,000 cubic centimeters. So one significant figure, 
4,000 cubic centimeters. If you notice, ano nangyari sa volume natin? From 2,000 na yun, 4,000. Nag-unsa man siya nag? Nag-increase, nag times 2, nag-double. Tama? Nga naman, kaya nag-half man. Mag-double ang volume. Inverse man sila. Diba? So, kung mag-half, mag-double. So, pwede ko kayo multiply yung tanin mo na by 2 diretsyo? Double man. So, that's uh, Boyle's law. <clears throat> Next, let's have another example. If 15.3 liters of neon at 25.0 degrees Celsius is allowed to expand to 19.2 liters, what must the new temperature be to maintain constant pressure? Okay, so given ta. On some ng liters. That's volume. Tama? Nga nang naman ay 1. Later, explain ako ano ng y. Nanay, uh, nanay 1. Okay, next. We have 25.0 degrees Celsius. So that's temperatures. Convert natin into Kelvin. You just add 273.15. So add lang dritso. So that's 298.15. It is allowed to expand. Later, explain ako ano nanay 1. It is allowed to expand to 19.2 liters. So nanay po tayo volume. Tama? So, doon ako volume. So, we have two sets. Mano nga yung V1 to V2. So, naman tayo two sets. Okay? So, ano ang tinatanong? Temperature, T2. What must the new temperature be? So, ang sa'yo gamitin na equation, katong for two sets. Ano eh? Two sets. So, kung may walay appeal doon eh. Plus one. Kung sa may walay appeal, ang kailangan lang nato si volume mag si temperature. So, wala tayo po eh sa... Pressure on N. Tama? Kay Mauro, man yung kailangan na to. Si V lang man yung si T. So, wala tayo pila ng T o N. Okay? So, ito equation na to. Mahimong V1, T1 is equal to V2 over T2. Okay? Di ba? Makita lang nimo sa equation. So, that's Charles Law. Okay? Ang sakit ay relationship sa Charles Law? Direct inverse. Direct. Say constant. Pressure. Okay? So, ang kailangan natin si T2. Uh, temperature 2. So, uh, cross multiply lang. Uh, cross multiply. So, we have V2, T1. So, V2. Ito naman ang V2. Dara, 19.2. So, dara, 19.2. T1. Temperature 1 is uh, 298.15. Yan. And then, uh, V1, which is 15.7 liters. Okay, so nitaas mo ng temperature. Ah, nitaas ang volume. So, ano dapat ang temperature mo? Nitaas mo. Okay, direct kung uh, siya. Calculate, that's 354. Uh, 0.61656 Kelvin. Or, pila ka significant figures? Tatlo. So, 365 Kelvin. Okay, so cancel mong siya uh, liters. Cancel siya liters, cancel siya liters. Okay. Uh, Kelvin na lang na bilis. You can also convert that into degree Celsius. So, opposite na siya. So, subtract lang. Kabalo naman mo na mo convert, convert. Okay, let's have last example. 5.00 times 10 to the power of 2 liters of gas is prepared, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let us identify the given. So, ang sumanin 5.00 times 10 to the power of 2 liters of gas. Volume. Okay, so 5.00 times 10 to the power of 2 liters. It's coming on 0 0.920 atmosphere. <laughs> pressure. Say it's pressure. Uh, 0 0.920 atmosphere. Now what about a 151.5 degrees Celsius? Degrees Celsius. Temperature. Convert into Kelvin. You just... Uh, add, you just add 273. So, add mo lang. So, that is equivalent to 424.65. So, bakit mayroong P, uh, V1, P1, P1 later? Next. The gas is placed in a tank under high pressure. When the tank cools to 20.5 degrees Celsius. So, meron ka namang another temperature. So, meron kang two sets. Tama? Uh, dalawa ng temperature natin. So, 20.5 convert that to Kelvin. That is why lagyan natin ng 1 for the first set two for the second set. Okay? The pressure of a gas 
is 30. Ayun, 30 atmosphere. So meron tayong isa pang pressure. Okay? And that's 30 atmosphere. So meron tayong dalawang sets. Okay, nakuha mo bakit uh, meron tayong one subscript na one at subscript na two. Okay, so ano yung tinatanong? What is the volume of the gas? Okay, so meron tayong two sets of our uh, variables. Dalawang volume, dalawang temperature. So ang gagamitan natin na equation yung for uh, two sets. Yan. So sumayuli apil di Hadzel. Kanang N. So tanggalan lang sa N. So sa equation, T1, V1 over T1 is equal to T2, V2 over T2. So i-copy mo doon sa inabili. Okay, so this is what we call the combined gas law. Nag-combine naman yung mountain law. Three, uh, three uh, variables. Nag-ipangita. Uh, volume. So cross-multiply lang yan po. Cross-multiply. Cross-multiply. Okay? So V2 is equal to P1, V1, T2. Kaya okay, cross-multiply naman. Over P2, T1. Okay? So substitute lang. Dara. What is our P1? 0.92. Check. Uh, v, V1 is 500. This is basically 500. 500 lang nilagay ko dito para uh, ang space. Then we have um, so yun eh, T1. Uh, T2 rather. T2. Dara, T2. 293.65. And then uh, P2. T2 is 30 atmospheres. And then T1 is T1, 424. And that will give us 10.60316 meters. How many significant figures? Three. Tingnan mo lang sa given. Tatlo ang least. So, uh, 10.6 liters. Ah, diba? Dali na kayo, no? Okay. Very good. Dali na lang, no? Okay. So, uh, this will be your practice test. Kindly answer it on your own. Kana. And then I will just give the Um, the answer key tomorrow or tonight. So, yan. Kindly uh, copy and answer it. Formative lang siya, formative. Okay, so nakuha na. If you have questions, kindly uh, ask me. Don't hesitate to ask me.